All right, tell me what we're doing today. I'm gonna make biscuits for the first time. I need my glasses. Okay. <laughs> I'm gonna make biscuits for the first time. Ever? Ever. Ever. Um, Are you I'm, intimidated? No, I'm not really intimidated by much, but um, certainly not cooking. <laughs> I've seen this done a lot and I've heard it be done a lot and I've heard her teach people a lot and I've heard her explain it to people a lot. So we'll see how it goes. Preheat the oven. I think that's done for you. Place so one thing I have learned and I tell this to our kids is read all of the instructions first. Good call. What's the consistency of Parmesan cheese? Say that a little louder. What is the consistency of Parmesan cheese? Grated Parmesan cheese or regular Parmesan cheese? Because that seems hard. The difference between one and two inches. Two inches being 100% more than one inch. Tell me what you're referring to. Roll the dough using the rolling pin until it's one dash two inches thick. I feel like it should be two inches. Let's make them two inches. It seems like that's what they, it seems like what the size is. So the one inch is kind of confusing me a little bit. It should be in the instructions. Grated Parmesan cheese and roll the dough using a rolling pin until it's approximately two inches thick. That gives you some leeway. The biscuits should touch because we're, we're supposed to touch and rise together. I know that. We could melt the remaining butter now. Yeah, we've actually got some for you already. Oh, brilliant. If you wanted to use that. All right, let's give this a shot. So walk me through your ingredients and what you've got. Hi. Hot little biscuit, buttermilk biscuit mix. It looks like I'm making cheese biscuits though, I would guess, since cheese is out. Yep, we've got some sharp cheddar for you. How do I know when to put that in? You know, it's not in the instructions, but I can walk you through it. <laughs> I'm, gonna, I'm gonna guess. Okay. <laughs> um, so yeah, I'm supposed to put a biscuit mix. I have cream cheese, I have butter. I have buttermilk, I have white lily flour, I believe that's important. Actually, you're not going to need that because you've got the biscuit mix. No, but I need to dust. Because I read the instructions first, I need to dust my rolling pin, the cutter, the biscuit dough itself, and the surface on which it is rolled. That's correct. You should have extra dusting flour in that bag though. Oh, in this? Mm -hmm. Oh. We think of everything. <laughs> Except that it doesn't say grated Parmesan cheese and one to two inches thick. Necessary notes. <laughs> and particularly because you have a two inch biscuit cutter. Not a one to two inch biscuit cutter. But that's not height, that's radius. Oh, that seems like two inches though. Yeah, it does. You're gonna be so tired of me, Sarah. Oh, that's okay. <laughs> it's not worth it for me to go figure out if that's exactly two inches or not. Okay, so that's. I'm sure it would be funny. That's what you I. Have tape have. measure? Yeah. Well, I am curious. My eye is right. Show it to the camera. This actually looks like a two by two, not in rough lumber dimensions. Actual two inches by two inches. And rough lumber dimensions. Rough lumber is so like a two by four is actually one and a half by um, three and a half inches. The more you know. It's, it's important to know this when you're measuring. <laughs> Can't be one and three quarter inches. Anyhow. 
Okay. I know carry isn't much of a measure, so I know that I don't need to be terribly precise here. I'm gonna be mostly precise. So how many cups are we putting in the bowl? It looks like about two, okay. with a, re a generous amount remaining for dusting, which is good. We've got that little baby bowl for your dusting flour. Oh, that's too, that's too bougie for me. All right, place two cups. Add two tablespoons of salted butter. Oh. For some reason, I know that butter actually marks itself in terms of its proportions. They've really thought out that packaging. Yeah, that was good. In the I've noticed hundreds cream, of years. Yeah, cream cheese also does it too. Add, work it in in a snapping motion. Say that a little louder. Add four tablespoons of salted butter and work it in to the mix using a snapping motion. I like how the directions say with your fingers. What else am I going to snap with? My toes? <laughs> Y'all should have I me read. <laughs> you should have me read your instructions first. I think we should do interpretive readings. I noticed you're doing the one hand technique. Oh, you go like this? You could. I'm just curious if you had a reason. Well, because then I'm holding on to um, that part with my left hand. <laughs> okay, makes sense, makes sense. <laughs> I mean, look at it, you snap too hard, it goes all over the place. The dogs aren't inside to get it. I mean, people are double snappers. I mean, I could <laughs> double snap, but. Show us. Then it's, see? <laughs> They're gonna have to edit out so much laughing, I feel like. No, it'd be fine to keep it in. And then it would be unwieldy. Uh, All right, that seems right there. So is that worked into the dough, you think? No. Okay. And a snapping. So I'm supposed to add the butter, not snap the butter. And then snap. Until it gets consistency of Parmesan cheese. This is good because I'm super hungry too. There you go. I just got, I got up way too early and went fishing on the boat, or was out on the boat. Did you catch anything? Nope. Mm -hmm. a, you know, I caught a good time. It's great. What were you trying to catch? Um, some reds. I was trying to catch some red fish. I went out probably at the wrong tide, but it was a beautiful morning. So what are we looking for here? Is this where you need the Parmesan cheese consistency? Yes, yes. so we're going to assume that's grated Parmesan cheese. Say that out loud. So we'll... We are looking for a, I assume to be grated Parmesan cheese consistency. I, which I actually kind of know what that means. What does that mean? Well, I've grated a lot of parm che Parmesan cheese, so. Or like when you go to the pizzerias and it's like already in the can. I don't know what that means. Oh, okay. What do you mean? Parmesan like cheese doesn't like in a come... shaker? Oh, no, we don't do that. Okay, that seems very Parmesan cheesy. I'd agree. No! So 
Somebody was kind enough to measure my cream cheese before. All right, cream cheese portion should be about the size of a dime. Add cream cheese in the same, so this is different. So now add cream cheese in the same snapping manner. Different or the same? Well, the first time I didn't read it right is um, add and then work it into the mix in a snapping motion with your fingers. So I was snapping it, snapping it in last time. This time it says, add in the same snapping manner. Hmm. Do you think this one gets a double snap? We're sticking with singular. I don't really know what to do <laughs> now. Um, I don't know about the double snap or the, I don't know about okay. the snaps. Not your preferred method. Cream cheese portion should be about the size of a dime. Okay. I don't know how we get to that, but okay. Maybe this is when I'm supposed to snap again. I do know that the cream cheese is potentially the secret, a secret ingredient. It can't be too secret because it's on the ingredient list, but a lot of people don't put cream cheese in, and I don't actually care for biscuits. I, In fact, these are the only biscuits I like, and I think it has to do with the cream cheese because it makes it airy, I think. That's why. And the dough does not get overworked, which is the art. So How do you it, feel about your dough right now? I feel like my dough is pretty good, actually. Okay. It seems like it's... The cream cheese portion should be about the size of a dime. So I kind of feel like that's there. Okay. What's next on the list? Make a well in the center of the dough. So I actually know what that means. Describe what that means. Um, you're supposed to make essentially a hole in your dough and that's where you're gonna pour your liquid. Okay, I'm gonna give you a little tip. If you wanna add ingredients, you should do it before you add the liquid. If I wanna, oh. So I'm supposed to add. Since these are cheese biscuits, you should add all of your ingredients before, it seems like a Massive that does seem like a lot. But I like cheese. Okay. I like cheese. So we'll see how it goes. <laughs> um, yeah, that seems misproportioned, but you know, wow. <laughs> this might, that might we be, might have to take some of that out. It might be way too much. <laughs> I think maybe she, we doubled the. That happened to me on another recipe I was doing once. Somebody doubled my, um, somebody measured out all my, my um, stuff for my eggnog. Oh. And I didn't know I was making, I was doubling it, but then they doubled the double. So that was confusing. Lesson learned, gotta, yeah. gotta miss out your own in ingredients. I think that will be on an episode of How She Rolls. <laughs> Bagnog? Yeah, if it makes a cut, if it makes the editing floor. It may not, because I was watching a football game while I was making my eggnog. Actually, Eric told me about that one. He said it was good. I think it's making it. Uh, all right. That seems better. Okay, so we've taken all of this out. We feel good about this. I feel better about this. Okay, what next? Now, since I have all my dry ingredients in, I make a well before I add my buttermilk cup of buttermilk. So I also know that you start with the least amount. Why is that? Because you can always add more. You can always add, even if you add too much buttermilk, you can, um, I also know this, you can add more flour. So, Interesting. Yeah, it's crazy. Good tips. Yeah. So you're making these for Mother's Day. What do y'all typically do on Mother's Day? Are you cooking? Um, I usually cook on Mother's Day something. The kids theoretically help, but they don't. Um, we usually wake up, have coffee in bed, 
combined dough, okay? Um, um, yeah, we usually have coffee in bed. Usually Carrie wants to go out on the boat. So we usually go out on the boat. Um, sometimes we go out to have a brunch or something or go out to dinner. Usually we'll take Carrie's mom or do something with her that evening. Okay, this is sticky. It might be a little too tacky. Um, so. I think that's what you want. Sticky, tacky, wetty, right? Little, um, dough is wet and sticky. That is true. That is what it is, okay? How many cups did you use? Did you use all of it? Nope, I only used three quarters. Okay. Thank goodness. <laughs> We would have had trouble. Otherwise, this would have been just a <laughs> moisture disaster. Liberally dust the dough. So, if you're usually doing the cooking, but you've never made biscuits, y'all don't have biscuits for Mother's Day? No. We were never, uh, well, the only time we'd have biscuits is if somebody else made it. Carrie? No, Carrie wouldn't make biscuits for herself on. But if one of the kids did or something, she would be glad to do that. Oh, well, it feels nice and soft. Okay. Then we're supposed to liberally do that. And do that. So does this seem relatively easy? Seems super easy. What about for someone who doesn't cook? I can't help them. I don't know if it's easy or not. I mean, ice skating looks easy, but I don't ice skate and it would probably be really hard. Ice skating seems a little harder than this. <laughs> probably. But people who are good at it make it look easy. So what are you doing now? I'm dusting this thing too. The, the two inch cutter for the one and a, one to one, the one to two inch biscuits. Okay. So then I pull this stuff out. That is oddly satisfying. I'll flip it. Hmm. Roll the dough until it's one and a half to two inches thick. Does it say pat it? Nope, it doesn't. But I like to pat it because that's satisfying. You're messing with the Cali's tradition. Well, you know, as Carrie says, you can make biscuits a thousand different ways. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna give this a shot because I've seen this in the bakery. So would you say this is closer to one inch or two inch? I would say it's closer to one inch. Okay. Um, definitely closer to one inch. All right. By my eye, which is not necessarily accurate. It's not like a two by four though. No, no, it's a lot softer. Okay. Yeah, a two by four would be thicker. Make a well, okay, wait a second. Flip the dough, roll until it's one to two inches thick. As you cut the biscuits, place on. Oh, we need to melt the remaining butter. So that should have been done before. So I'll do that. Okay. Before, but I've watched. The expert bakers in the bakery do this, and they're so good at it. If you see videos of it. So do they, they take their dough off the table? Their dusting flour off the table? Do they take it off the table? To dust their cutter? I don't know. I feel like I've already dusted my cutter. Okay, we're good. Oh, that actually worked. Somehow they get it to fly out. <laughs> I like the technique, though. It's very quick. Well, I've watched them. They go, they're like automatic. They're like, see? Oh, almost there. There you go. Yes. So Callie's trick, quickness, agility is good in biscuit baking? I don't know. See, <laughs> that's what they do, but they flip them into their thing. Or maybe they, they just flip them into their hand. I don't pay attention that closely. No. Okay, before you stamp, I think we should get a slow-mo of this flip. Go. And I know this, and it doesn't say this in the instructions. No, it doesn't. 
So you take that and you just reform your thing again, whatever this is called. And then, so we're supposed to get theoretically 12 biscuits out of this. So we're at 10, we got this. That one might be the best one. These are looking good. Thank you. Oh, we're getting more because we added cheese. There's See? always talk about a snake too, which you can do with your leftover dough. But I'd rather get another biscuit out of it. Oh, some of them are a little big. I like these ones more. Maybe that's why I got so many. Yeah, I think it was your dough was a little funny. Yeah. I kind of want to redo these, but then I don't. What's that? It'll be tough. If I redo it, mm -hmm. then that means I will have overworked my dough. Yeah. Third rollout. So that your last one's going to be a little tough because it's the third rollout. And then here's my snake, which you, which you, I guess, you're, I don't know what you're supposed to, you're supposed to border it or something. Oh, aren't these guys all supposed to be, I think they're all supposed to be touching something, kind of. So you know this because you're an insider, but... Carrie says the biscuits should touch because they like their friends, right? Yep, and then they rise tall and they're buttery on the inside and something on the outside. And open to anyone's jam? Open to anyone's jam. I should really like that. Um, and they're supposed to be kind. Biscuits are supposed to be kind? Yeah, or at least people are. Okay, all right. Okay, so your snakes, it works for a couple of them. I didn't know I was gonna be critiqued by this. <laughs> all right, now what? Now I put them in the oven for mm -hmm. 16 to 18 minutes and I rotate the pan halfway through. I think you have to do something else. I'm supposed to brush them with um, butter, melted butter. Yeah. You can be very liberal with the application of butter. Personal Since preference or? Well, any, yeah, I mean, I think that's everybody's preference. But listen, you're, you've already made these, so the health conscious people just stop. You're, you're already in. I mean, it would be like eating ice cream without an ice cream cone. Have the cone. You're already in. That's a good point. Thank you. You got a, um, a whole thing of butter out anyway, so you might as well commit to using it. And see, that was perfect. Butter my snake too. So what do you think Carrie would say about this batch of biscuits? So far. I think she would say um, probably 10 of these are not thick enough, but it, it does say one to two inches. So um, I think she might also say not bad. What do you think the girls would say? Are they big biscuit perfectionists as um, well? You know, I don't know what the girls would say. Um, you know, they're pretty encouraging, so they might say... So we're going back to the butter for a third time. Well, there's some, some Still a little so left. left. <laughs> well, it's like painting a wall. If you miss a spot, you need to come back. Okay. Um, I would guess people would say not a bad job. We'll see, I guess. Process is not yet finished. Okay. So, and then I'll set a timer for eight minutes because I that will remind me to rotate and then we'll do another eight minutes. All right. That wasn't nearly as bad as I thought it was gonna be. I wonder what this thing's for. 
I'll play with this. Correct. Maybe? What'd you think? What were your expectations? Did it take longer? It would take longer. I thought it might be harder. I don't know. I thought it'd be harder to get like the consistency and maybe I got it wrong, but I thought it'd be hard. I didn't know it'd be just that quickly. Boom. You mix them and they're ready to go. All right, it's been eight minutes. Ooh, they're looking okay. And they all came to kind of the same height. Uh oh, looks like a couple of them got a little slippery. That might be too much cheese. We'll find out. They're not next to anybody. That could be their problem. All right, rotate, reset. Not ready yet. How can you tell? I'm not actually sure, but they don't look brown enough. They don't look hard enough yet. Okay. But I don't know that, but that's, you know, that's me. So we'll wait another two minutes. So a quick two minutes, so we'll see. Ooh, so they're starting to get there. Um, it said 16 to 18, so we have now hit 18, so I'm pulling it. You want to bring them to the counter? And I want to bring them to the counter, <laughs> but not on the clean counter. Where... What do we think? I think there's a good chance that they're pretty good. Um, I do know this, you don't want to eat them immediately. Why? Because they're too hot. Burn your mouth a time or two. <laughs> I'd like to taste them again. <laughs> if you are cooking or baking these for Mother's Day, you should also do this. If you're a man. What's that? Clean? And it's not only clean all the dishes, but at least in my household, women really like a clean countertop. So, interesting technique. Is that patented or? It's not patented, but um, people are free to use it. It's very effective. Perfect. And see what happens. In the meantime, this little snake guy is, I think, pretty good. Good enough to eat. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's good. Better than Carrie's? This one's almost a combination between a cheese crisp and a cheese biscuit. I, I like the texture. You didn't answer the question. I'm not going to answer the question. <laughs> that feels good. Yeah, that's pretty good. It could be cooked a little good. longer if you wanted, but that's very hot. It's hot, but that's good. These are these are acceptable. Overall thoughts. I've had green chili cities too. Mm -hmm. That'd be good. Um, you know, it was way easier than I thought. Um, there's great latitude in how long you cook them. So you don't need to worry about probably even overcooking them so much. Um, and you can just keep adding two minutes if you need to. But if you go the cheese route, which I recommend, I would add time. To, I'd go at least 10 minutes aside. Um, but I also know this, every oven is different, so you have to pay attention to your biscuits. All right, tips for Mother's Day. Tips for Mother's Day? Yeah, give me three quick tips. Um, cook, do all the dishes, and clean up. That might Done. be repetitive, I don't know. That's okay. All right, you want to take one bite and then we'll be done? I'm going to eat my snake. Mm -hmm. Happy Mother's Day or something like that. That's so good. That's so good.